This is a haptic vest that makes you feel sensations from VR in real life just like Ready Player One. Today, we're gonna find out how close we are to reaching that reality by unboxing this, trying it out for the first time, and giving it a review. This one is specifically called the B Haptics Taxu X40, and it right now goes for 530 US dollars. And recently, B Haptics partnered with Meta to be part of their Made for Meta program, and I'm part of the Quest Creator program, so they sent one out to me. So thank you for that. So let's find out what this haptic suit is all about and get into unboxing this thing. And to unbox this thing properly, we have to bring out our trusty review table. Oh yeah! All right, now that we have the review table set up, it is time to unbox it. Oh. I feel like this thing looks like the Deadpool outfit, only in black. It's like a, like a superhero vest is what it is. So we got our quick start guide right in here. And then we have the suit itself, of course. We also have the two accessories it comes with. It looks like we have additional mesh lining. And then accessory two is the charging cable, the Bluetooth dongle, audio accessories, and the manual. What's cool is you can actually take this and replace this with anything with Velcro to have your own logo right there. Wow, and then if you look at this right here, these are all of the individual sensors. And then if you open this up, see all of them on the outside right here. So I'll get back here. Oh yeah. It feels like it literally is like a superhero costume. We got like the abs here, <laughs> but pretty well fitting. All right, now we're gonna let it charge for a little bit and then we're gonna come back and pair it for the first time. One hour later. All right, so I've been charging this thing for about an hour. So the next step is to put it on and pair it with the Quest 3. You can also use this with any Quest headset and also PC VR and it even allows you to plug it into music and use that as haptic feedback. But this is made specifically for Quest, so I'm gonna try it out on that first. And I've gotta actually turn it on. I kind of forgot about that step. So it looks like it's in pairing mode now. Gonna put on the headset, get our controllers on. All right, now that we're in the headset, we are going to look up the B Haptics app. There it is, the B Haptics player. All right, so we got it downloaded, so let's open that up. Connect it on Bluetooth. There you can see the Taxu X40, so pair that. All right, we can see it connected. Confirm. All right, now we are in. So we can adjust the feedback intensity is the first thing that I see. So let's see if we ping. Whoa. Let's go up to the max. Wow, that has some power. So it has this haptic library and it has a bunch of different options to feel stuff. So this is a rifle shot. Wow, so you can feel it like going through you. You have like chopping me in half. So I will say right off the bat, this is not gonna hurt you. This is just vibrations. Unlike a lot of people have seen the OO vest, which I've used, it actually shocks you and actually hurts. This is just haptic feedback through vibrations. It's like taking a controller that you have, like an Xbox or PlayStation controller, and strapping it onto your entire body. So we'll try the demo out real quick. Look, there I am. All right, let's see what I, so I can shoot myself in this. Whoa. So you can see where it's affecting me on the vest, which is so cool. So you can see every single one of those are motors. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, it's like a back massage. Got a haptic vest, got a haptic vest. Now, as you can see from their experiences here, these are all the games or experiences that work with this vest. So you can see it's actually 264. They're all customized specifically to this. But that being said, on Quest specifically, they have 106. If you are looking at the Rift, which is the older Quest, that is 41 items. On Steam, they have 207. And then on the PSVR 2, they have six items. So quite a lot. Obviously on Steam, that's where you can get the most customized. Uh, but again, let's look at Quest for right now. And here on Quest, we can look at some of the biggest ones. So there's Breachers, Blaine Sorcery, Dungeons of Eternity, Ghost of Deboer, Onward, Arizona Sunshine 2, Thrill the Fight, Zenith, Contractors, Into the Radius, Stride, Hubris, Epic, Roller Coasters, uh, In Death Unchained, Synth Riders, Pavlov, 
Zero Caliber, Ragnarok, Aspire, and the list really goes on there. And I'm sure they're all great, but just to test this out, we're gonna do Dungeons of Eternity, Contractors, and Thrill of the Fight. So let's test it out. All right, here we are in Contractors. Let's see how easy it is to get the suit working. So here in the control panel, right off the bat, I see be haptic. So enable that, we'll see if it's working. Wow, you do feel it. So when the gun's this far away, you don't feel it. But when it's like this, you can feel the gun stock hitting against your chest, which is kind of crazy. So let's jump into a game. All right, let's try this out. Wow. Oh, got him. Gosh, I haven't played contractors in a little bit. Oh. Wow, you can feel it in your chest. All right, I just played for a bit, but I definitely think that it added to the gameplay. I will say it wasn't as intense as the demo was, but maybe you can just crank up the intensity in a setting. So we're gonna try Thrill the Fight next. So this is interesting. It says B haptic support may not work with newer gear. And I click pair devices and it says no pair devices. So I guess it might not be working in this game, so. The other one, Contractors, is so easy, but then this one, it doesn't seem like it's working. Um, might be user error on my part, but we gotta move to the next game. Dungeons of Eternity, so let's see how easy it is to turn this on. Seems like it's working from the get-go. You feel it when you spawn in. So when you grab the weapon, you can feel it. Wow, you can feel the liquid going down, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. It's a crazy feeling. hey -ya! Oh, get wrecked. Wow, you can definitely feel every movement. I'm frozen. Holy moly! Oh my god! Oh boy, I don't know what I got myself into with this one. Eh. Get ready to be vanquished. Oh boy! I'm literally dead. I have literally a candy cane. Take this and this! Some like Elden Ring stuff right here. And I'm dead. <laughs> Oops. All right, that was sick and that was just a quick demo of a few of the things that we can do on here. Obviously there's so many games but I would say overall, it definitely did make me more immersed and kind of helped even like know where someone's shooting me from or where to go or, and I would say it's just kind of fun to have it. So let's break down my final review of the tax suit and if it's worth getting one. Okay, so now that we've gone through all the unboxing, setup and demo of the tax suit, it's time to dive into the final review. But before I do that, if you've enjoyed the video so far, if you could just take a second to leave a like and subscribe, I cover all kinds of cool tech that's coming out and I'm sure you would love it. But back to the X40, I've spent a solid amount of time testing this across a few different experiences and games. And it's definitely clear that this brings something unique to the table of VR haptic vests. First up, I wanna talk about comfort and usability. The tax suit definitely is super user friendly. I felt like you guys just watched me use it on the standalone quest and the setup was super straightforward. And once you get it connected, you're pretty much good to go. You just have to flip a switch. And uh, same thing with PC VR. There's even more like customization that you can use with that. Um, and since it's kind of an open design, it allows it to be used across a bunch of different uses. So you can use it for music or you can use it for normal games like Call of Duty or Fortnite, which is pretty cool. So it's kind of a one size fits all design. So I think that's pretty cool. Makes it a lot more accessible for users. And next is the immersive experience. This is obviously the main selling point for the tax suit. It's just the amount of immersion that it provides. It's that layer of realism that's hard to describe unless you've tried it yourself because it's unlike any other gaming experience. And since it has a bunch of native support for a bunch of games that they partnered with, whether it's Blader Sorcery, Pavlov, or the games you guys watch me play, I just think that all those haptic feedback points in those games that are customized from the devs, from B Haptics and those games, it just makes it super seamless. And next I wanna compare it to other haptic suits. The first one that comes to a lot of people's mind is the Tesla suit. Now this is like the pinnacle of haptic feedback technology. This is like the top of the line. I've never tried it, but I've known a few people that have. And this thing uses different technologies, one called EMS and one called TENS, which essentially replicate a broad range of different sensations from gentle touches to powerful impacts. And it's really incredible technology, but guess what? It's nearly $12,000. And just the complexity of it and the cost will not make it worthwhile for an average person to buy it. So obviously <laughs> the B Haptics one is a lot more accessible. Next one up is the OO Haptic Suit. And this is one that I've actually tried myself. 
at CS a few times. And these actually have these electrical pads across a entire suit that actually kind of send electrical pulses to you. And I will say, if you turn the intensity up, this one actually hurts. Like imagine getting small electrical shocks all over your body, but they do have a lot of good partnerships. So just like the B Haptics, there is a lot of games that support it. And it's really fun to try out with friends, I'm sure. And it's a very similar price. So I think it's pretty comparable, but it's the difference between vibration versus electrical shocks. I prefer vibration for casual gaming, but hey, if you're really looking to feel those gunshots, you know, may the OO vest is for you. For sure it's fun to watch friends get electrical shot, but for me, I probably stick with the B haptics. And finally, the third one that I'm gonna compare it to is the Woozer Vest 3. This is a lot more budget friendly and I actually have one myself. Um, I got to review this um, a few months back and it's a solid choice, but it's more focused on the bass and similarly vibrations from the B haptics. The thing is, this one is not going to be programmed and customized with Quest games the same way the B haptics one is. This one is actually more geared towards traditional like gaming experiences and listening to music. Uh, and for sure can be used with the Quest, but the way that the haptics work is it actually processes the audio. So if it hears a loud bass, it'll rumble. So finally, let's talk about value for your money. Uh, again, at 530, the Taxu X40 is not necessarily cheap, especially when there's a bunch of other accessories that you can buy for your headset. However, at that price, you are definitely getting a high quality piece of hardware that's well built and definitely connects up with games and adds a whole level of immersion to VR that you couldn't get without it. So if you're someone who spends a lot of time in VR um, or even wants to use this for normal gaming experiences or music, I think the investment probably is well worth it. So my final thoughts on the B Haptics Taxu is it's really kind of the next step in VR technology. I think it's really cool that we already have, again, something like Ready Player One that you can use today and it works with tons of different games so um is it super budget friendly you know it's just as much as the headset so it's a little pricey but definitely within the grasp for someone who's a real enthusiast and again it's not just a cool piece of technology it actually can enhance you know your virtual reality experience so again if you're serious about vr definitely check it out and again thank you guys for watching today if you can like and subscribe helps the channel grow. Until next time, I'm Justin Weeb. Peace out.